Definitely. Now you put in a special request. What did you request? Uh, peppers, green tomatoes. Uh, I got both hot and sweet banana. Mm -hmm. And what, what's that for? Salsa and pepper relish. Okay. So you're you're a salsa and pepper relish maker. I might do it all. I can pickle beets. I do it all. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have your own garden, you said. But... I have all. My, I got a big garden, but uh, uh, I make more salsa and, and pepper relish probably. I can new potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your uh, your garden can't keep up with demand for your I see. products. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got too big a heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> I couldn't say that. I'm glad I can. Yeah. So, basically, I'm a I'm a little farmer's market myself. I've yeah. got about a half a dozen farmers that grows for me. Uh -huh. And so when people ask for this or this, I know which farmer to go to to get it. And uh, most of the time, they'll pick it the day before. And anytime you can buy direct from the farm, uh, you can get at least fresher and generally a decent enough quality. Uh, most of them better than Walmart or Food City, mm -hmm. and uh, and the and the customers really enjoy having that, that freshness and the quality that comes direct from the farm. Well, what have you got today? I've got some high runner beans, uh, some red, yellow, green, stripy, German pink, turkey, mm -hmm. purple tomatoes, some cucumbers, okra, corn, cantaloupe, and uh, sweet potato. Now the sweet potatoes I have brought in uh, those. Turkey sandy areas down along the coast can grow them a whole lot better than we can. Yeah. And then uh, the local apples are starting to come in from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And most of the rest of this stuff is coming from the Nova Chucky. Uh, the biggest thing here in Churchill, we're a fresh food market. Uh, what that means is that we try to provide every, what we can that we can get locally and or brought in. So if you're looking for certain products, you can find them here. Uh, if people do grow it, we do have some people who do grow, such as my uh, neighbors over there, then you're more than welcome to come down. Uh, you can tell people you grow it or tell people you brought it in. The biggest thing is we don't have to, no one down here has to pretend where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And the key with our farmer's market is, like I said, is that when you ask where did the beans come from, they come from Nola, Chucky, where the watermelon cantaloupe come from. Back early in the season, they'll come from South Carolina, Georgia. Uh, the peaches will usually come out of South Carolina, something. Right now, they'll start coming more out of Georgia, Virginia, North Carolina, mm. apples. Uh, so we don't pretend like we grew everything. It's just <laughs> not. Uh, that's just not a good way to be. Ours is an open market. Uh, anybody, anyone's welcome to come down and sell. No charge. No charge for coming down here. The only difference between here and in, in, the, the, uh, any other farmers market is we don't require you to sign up and charge you if you don't show up. Mm. Uh, come in you know as, as crops come in you come in and then while you're waiting on something else you stay going for a little while and come back and mm -hmm. 